Hello everyone, I'm bringing you the readings for this coming Sunday. This Sunday will be October the 22nd, 2023. Uh, these are the readings for Proper 29 in Year A of our lectionary cycle. A reading from Exodus, chapter 33, verses 12 to 23. Moses said to the Most High, You have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so that I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Most High replied, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to the Lord, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Most High said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked, because I am pleased with you, and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Most High said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Most High, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But, God said, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. Then the Most High said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verses, reading verses 1 to 10. Paul, Silas, and Timothy. To the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you. We always thank God for all of you, mentioning you in our prayers. We continually remember before our God and Father, your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that God has chosen you, because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit, and with deep conviction. You know how we lived among you for your sake, you became imitators of us and of the Lord, in spite of severe suffering. You welcomed the message with the joy given by the Holy Spirit. And so you became a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. The Lord's message rang out from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia. Your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it for they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for God's Son from heaven, whom God raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reading chapter 22, 
verses 15 to 22. The Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap Jesus in his words. They sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians. Teacher, they said, we know you are a person of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by individuals because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then. What is your opinion? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, knowing their evil intent, said, You hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for paying the tax. They brought him a denarius, and he asked them, Whose portrait is this, and whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then he said to them, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that you are blessed by these readings and I look forward to talking to you on Sunday about them. God bless you all. Bye for now.